Hi Terry Lee, okay this is an epitaph for the Ides of June by Andre Hutting, a much more serious poem because you've done a, a fun piece before that. Um, I know you've tried uh, the other Afrikaans poem but as I said it would be lovely if you could have that contrast where you're doing one Afrikaans piece and one English piece but it's up to you, I'll give you an idea of how this poem should be presented, thanks. An epitaph for the Ides of June. Our mother was killed today, on her way home from shopping. In her basket was some vim, some jick, and two tins of chili beans intended for our supper. No one is very hungry. Our mother was walking down a dusty street, her right leg and her back her only troubles. Then there were bullets, bottles and stones, long knives, even fires. Oh and lots of hate. The hate moved on, and in the rubble lay our mother, somehow flat and empty, like a stranger, an ordinary person who crossed the path of someone else's battle. Who killed her, you ask? Was it a bullet? The wounds were quite indiscriminate, fatal and anonymous. So many for just one life. Why, do you ask? Who would you blame for the death of an ordinary person? We children sit in silence, coping, and hoping the quiet will stop the clamour of our remembering a more than ordinary woman. The police have taken her in a white van to see, they said, what killed her. Her? Your her is my mother. Aren't they blind? Can't they count? To most, she's just another number. The family sits alone in a lightless room. We cannot find the matches. The sympathetic shadows hide the emptiness at the end of our table. Today will end in tears, the moment filled with sighs and echoes. Tomorrow and thereafter, will bring some other passion.